so I'm just going to spend just a few moments just um, explaining where we're uh, where we're up to at the moment um, as as catalyst teams um, as we as we move forward into into a new season. Um, so I'm going to just share my screen as we talk about that just for the next the next few minutes. As we go, if you've got questions or comments, you can please feel free to either use the Slido function for that. You can do that um, on the slido.com. There's a Q&A section um, and you can also um, put things in the chat if you like um, as we as we uh, move forward together. So I just want to really talk about these four things, our vision, our reality, which is important where we're actually at, our values and our next steps as a catalyst uh, family, if you like. Um, and so firstly, our vision. Why, why are we here? Well, I think well, you've heard me share about this before, many of you, that we really obviously, as we look at us as groups of individuals around the country, very different people in different areas of medicine and nursing and midwifery. Um, but actually, we're called as Christians, aren't we, to be for a number of things, be transformed to the likeness of Christ, to, to join God in what he's doing by doing the works he's prepared in advance for us to do in whatever sphere of, of medicine or healthcare that we're in. And that's really where we kind of trundle in to um, our medical schools, our nursing schools, our, our workplaces, with a calling on our lives to serve God. And then, of course, as CMF, we have a, a, an overarching mission to unite and equip Christian doctors and nurses to live and speak for Jesus Christ. That's what we're here to do. So the idea is that we join together and we say, Let, let's do this together. And the question that is on our lips really is, is what might God do with a movement of united and equipped Christian health carers living and speaking for him. And, and this is what we're going to mention in a minute. It's about the vision of what could be. What is it that God is doing at this time in our nation? There's significant things happening, aren't there, through in healthcare um, in all sorts of areas, particularly um, over the last year. But actually, we want to be doing something and uniting together both nationally, but also locally and specifically to live and speak. For Christ. And that's really where we come to catalyst teams. We want to fulfill that mission of CMF through transformational teams. We want to be teams where we're changed, where we're transformed by the gospel. And as we do that, as we are changed, that we would go out and bring change um, to the areas where there's desperately needed change, both for the structural level all the way down to that individual level with patients that we see day in, day out. And that's really the heart behind catalyst teams. And when I think of us as teams, I think of us as like um, a team on, on a boat. I don't know if any of you have watched uh, Ben Ainsley and his crew not do so well uh, too recently. But, you know, on the, the, the idea of a boat is that we, we work, we're here with a destination. So for this team, it's to, to win a race. Um, but we're here with a destination. We're heading. We've got a goal in front of us and we want to see that goal glorified. But actually, part of getting to that destination means doing that as a team. And we all know that. There's so many anecdotes we can share about teams and about how we, how we develop uh, teams. But we're here working together as a team, bringing our gifts as members of the body of Christ. We are the priesthood of all believers, not just the priesthood of some believers, where some people do the work and other people sit back and watch. It's actually part of giving our time voluntarily. That's what you're all doing this morning, giving your time because you want to willingly serve, you want to respond to what God has done for you and for us, and in return, serve with time and energy and finance and gifts. And that's where we see these, the, the wonderful opportunity to work together as teams to see this become um, a reality. And so we see in the future a multiplication of teams or a growing number of teams of medics and nurses in every region of the UK, allowing the grace of Jesus to bring transformation in and through us to the places that we live and that we work that's that's the goal that's where we want to be that's the, that's what we want to see happen we're not just here just to do this or to do that we're here because we have a vision of what we want to see god do and how we want to see god move so that's all well and good that's our vision what's the current reality where are we at it's always good to have reality checks um, to see where where we are so currently we have 13 teams um, and so they're just pointed to there, which is wonderful. We think that um, potentially we could have about 30 teams if we were to cover all regions of the UK. Remember, the goal isn't to say, well, when we get to 30 teams, we've achieved our goal. No, no, no. Teams are like that boat. They are they're, they're to get us to a destination. They're not the destination in and of themselves. But, but it's been wonderful just to see the number of teams grow and to see the teams grow 
uh, themselves. We've got a number of supported team roles. So I've listed some of those there on the, on the screen. Um, there are some people in other roles as well, but these are the roles that we're increasingly looking to support um, as we develop um, some role descriptions just to help people um, think through what it looks like, the resource packs, connections and training and so on. So one example would be a, a prayer role where um, the, uh, the prayer catalyst linking with our head of communications, who's Steve Fouch, um, uh, who might disseminate prayer requests um, and then who might link out to other prayer group leaders. So we'd love to see a praying presence in every workplace in the UK and Ireland. Wouldn't that be amazing? A, a prayerful presence, a praying group. So this group might have some prayer groups in different um, in different workplaces or even outside of the workplace who they who they link to um, and share and share things with. And then in another area, we've got another prayer catalyst. So this is another another team who's doing the very, very much similar things um, in in the other in the other areas. But those prayer catalysts would then be able to get together to encourage and support one another. Another example of this was our, our student um, student roles recently got together. Um, and those roles who are in different teams were able to get together for some training, for some equipping, to share ideas, to pray together. We do that as Catalyst team leaders, and we're increasingly looking to do that with the other roles represented here. So I'm encouraged that there are things happening, um, that we've already heard a couple of encouragements this morning already, and we're going to hear a little bit more live from three of our team leaders um, just a bit later on this morning. So there's been a lot of joys um, uh, a lot of things happening, which is great, but also some challenges, which I'll get to in just a moment, that we'd love to overcome. So that's our vision, our reality. Just briefly mention our values um, before my time runs out. I'm nearly done. I think the first is just to say this, we lead with vision. Um, and I, I quite like talking about vision. I'm aware that it's, we need to ground it in some reality. We often talk about the riverbanks here. So riverbanks are where we say, look, there are these catalyst teams do look like something. Being part of the CMF family, it looks like something. There are some, you know, some riverbanks within which we swim, which makes us distinctive. I think that's really important. But equally, there is room to swim between the riverbanks. I, I'm looking forward to getting back to my open water swimming. I've just signed up for the Great East Swim up in East Anglia. So um, looking forward to that, but I need to get back in the water. But you, know, you can swim between the riverbanks, there's room to express locally um, the uh, personality and to respond to regional um, uh, to regional sp specifics, if you like, as to how we um, as to how we do that. So we lead with vision. I just want to encourage us to do that. It's very easy for us in CMF, but also in churches to lead with the we need help. We need someone to do this job. You know, we desperately need um, help in this area. Would you come on board? I've just been asked to do something at church. Um, very much like that. The problem is, is that when we focus on the task, it's not always that inspiring. I mean, Antoine de Santo Exupéry, sorry for the pronunciation, said this, if you want to build a ship, don't drum up the men to gather wood, divide the work and give orders. Instead, teach them to yearn for the vast and endless sea. I think you see what I'm, I'm getting at. Need minus vision is desperation when we just say this is needed we can come across as desperate you know we need someone on our team we need this role filling it can come across as a bit, you know, a bit of desperation whereas actually need plus vision is inspiration when we share the need it's all well and good to share needs but we actually share the vision where are we going it's more inspiring and i found that really key for me helping myself and others to understand what we're looking to do so that's the challenge for us really one of our values is leading with vision, don't recruit to the task, instead recruit to the vision. There's a couple of other of our, our values there on the screen, which I'm not going to go into in depth um, now, but we're really wanting to value these things as we work together as Catalyst teams. And then for my last slide, what are the next steps? Last slide here. We want to support roles uh, even better. So if you're in a, in a role as a junior Catalyst, as a logistics catalyst, whatever it is, we want to support you better to start to link together and start making, I guess, this dream become a, a, a more of a reality. I would really love us to pray for more teams. In a way, I'm quite relaxed about the number of teams we have. It's not about whether we get more, but actually I do feel a sense that we need to be praying for more teams to come on board. We'd love to see this work grow and see more people 
uh, equipped to live and speak for Christ in through the work we can do. I think we need a better understanding of, of why CMF. I think certainly both for us as members, certainly for non-members, lots of people say, why would I get involved? I'm already busy. My life is full. Why would I want to get involved in CMF? And I think we've, we're doing some work on that um, centrally, but also through Catalyst teams. So watch this space. And then better technical support and ability to interact. We are looking to work on how we use our database and how we use means of, of communication, which are GDPR compliant, but actually also do the job well. We'd love to develop that more. So that's just a taste of, of where we are at um, with Catalyst teams at the moment. Um, there's a chance for you if you've got questions, um, just to, to hold them, you can put them in the Q&A on Slido. Just click on the Q&A button and we'll have a chance after we've heard from three of our team leaders um, about, about what, what they're saying. So there we go. You've heard that's a lot from me. Why don't we just take a moment just to, to pause? You might just want to close your eyes, look away from the screen just for a moment um, uh, before we, we hear from, from, from Felicia. But why don't we just pause? Perhaps something struck you from what, what you've heard, uh, from what I've said, from what was being said before by Ed and Sarah. Why don't you just take a moment just to pause and maybe bring that before God or just think about what you're going to be doing later on or the nice smell of cooking, baking from your house, whatever it is. Let's just pause for a moment. Take our eyes off the screen. Thank <laughs> you.